So the team over at teammail.co.uk, one of the best e-commerce news blogs that I know of, have released recently a great little document. You'll find the link for it below, which talks about 50 things that every eBay seller needs to know. So let's take a look at what it's all about. The fifth section of Tembe's document goes into shipping and fulfillment. Sending the goods you sell on eBay will be one of the things you'll be spending a great deal of your time doing. At peak times it can be a bit overwhelming, so don't be afraid to ask for help and seek out new providers. Timbe talk about shopping around. When it comes to delivery, the first stop as you start selling on eBay will likely be the post office. But you may be surprised at the variety and selection of shipping services there are out there. So be sure to do some research and search out the best value service for your business. They then talk about courier services are probably cheaper than you think, especially for bigger and heavier items. You might be surprised at how cheap couriers can be and prices have come down an awful lot in the last few years, but you generally get what you pay for. So don't just judge a service on price, but what they offer you and your buyer. Another good tip is that couriers usually offer tracking as standard and eBay and PayPal like items to be tracked because it helps them rule in cases of parcel loss or even theft or fraud and it helps them see that you did indeed dispatch the goods. Couriers like My Hermes offer tracking as standard and you can save on loads of headaches later on. Another great tip regarding shipping and fulfillment are branded packages and inserts. When your item is delivered to the buyer, it's now your chance to show off and communicate to them directly. So use inserts and flyers to encourage repeat purchases and use branded packaging to advertise your website if you have one. So what about returns? As a business seller, you're required by UK and EU law to offer returns under certain circumstances. And eBay requires that you accept returns under the distance selling regulations for at least 14 days after the buyer receives the goods. So who pays for the returns? Well, it really depends. Some eBay sellers will offer free returns to all buyers, regardless of the circumstances. But as a general rule of thumb, if the return is because the item is damaged or not working or not as described, then the seller pays for the return carriage. But if the goods come back because the buyer has simply changed their mind, well then they should bear the expense of return postage. And usually they don't mind. Another thing that's really important is to learn about managed returns. Even if you do specify a returns policy and maybe even include a return slip in your sales, eBay can sometimes intervene and help the buyers make a return using their managed returns process. This way, a buyer can apply to eBay to make a return and it forces you to have to respond. So it's worth just learning about it and work with the system. Another great tip is to package properly. You need to take the time and effort to adequately pack and protect your items in the post. The materials and methods you use will depend on the item and it pays to be ultra cautious. In the normal passage of carriage, your parcels go through some rough and tumble, so wrap them up really well. eBay ends this section with a couple of reader tips. Tony says, really read up on the postage charges and weights for the items you're selling. Many sellers just put in any price from the top of their head and are shocked when they are charged twice as much as at the post office. Another reader tip is from Blaine, who says, as all new eBay accounts have selling limits, you need to ask eBay customer service for an increase on your limits straight away and after every 30 days. Great tip. So there you go. More of this to come over the next few videos. Don't forget to sign up to tembay.com so as you can get your daily news fix direct to your inbox and you won't miss out on any important updates from Amazon, eBay or the world of e-commerce. If you like this video and would like to see more, please do subscribe to my channel and that way I'll be able to bring you more tips and tricks to help you on your e-commerce journey. Thanks for listening. This is Patrick from Selling Online Today. Bye-bye.